Okay, my traumatized babies are mentally ill Barbies. We're not doing the intro and outro today either, because we just have, I don't know why. There is just an epidemic of like stinky energies, like right now, and I don't know, like I haven't even actually flipped up, because y'all know usually like when I do my little on today's episode, I already have the um, overview energies flipped up already. Today, I did not flip them up. One of the clarifier cards came up on their own because I was just like, there's something wrong, especially with like whatever's in this first row over here. And even like me selecting the overview energies was weird because if you've watched the channel, you know, I don't really do reversals. If something is more in the negative aspect, it's going to come up. It doesn't matter what position the card is in, but sometimes, and I'm gonna pull it out, especially with this deck, um, I will, like, it'll be like, no, leave this card upside down, leave this card this way, and it's like, okay. Um, and with the Kipper today, that happened. The two flanking cards, the ones at the very left and the very right, wanted to be upside down. And then the one in the middle is right side up. And then when I was getting the small clarifiers, one of them, the middle one, flipped upright on its own. And what is it? The Three of Swords. So I don't know what's happening here yet because I haven't flipped up anything. Um, so we're going to start with this first column. Oh my god. Oh. So what do we have to do with this? Like, something's weird about this read. So what's upside down? Courtship is upside down. Courtship is upside down. And then we have the moon here. The moon was kind of upside down too. I don't know if something is going to be revealed about a particular person or situation to you or someone's hoping like something stays secret about a particular relationship or courtship process. I don't know if this is someone trying to come into y'all with weirdo energy. But the Three of Swords is already on this middle one. So who is this in our middle row? Toil and labor with the Three of Swords. That's interesting. This still could be someone trying to like work hard to conceal something. It's either some sort of pain of their own or something that they intend to like. And when I say intend to, a lot of people when they're dealing with other people aren't thinking to themselves, you know what I especially want to do in this relationship. I want to pass on my trauma and my baggage onto someone else. Like they're not thinking that way. They're just thinking they want to get into a relationship. And then um, what ends up happening if you haven't like really acknowledged your past stuff or whatever, what happens is the person who you're with, if you haven't acknowledged like when my dad or when my mom said this word or acted in this sort of way, it was a signal that they were getting ready to harm me in some, like, however that happened for the person, right? That word, that situation, that behavior, whatever it is, becomes a trigger. And so when people get involved with other people who have nothing to do with whoever raised them or whatever, like, weird abusive situations that they were in, and they haven't acknowledged it, they haven't realized it, become an awareness of it, the people, like friends or partners, will say that word or do that behavior, whatever, and it's completely like independent of whatever like the abuse is, but it still triggers the other person and they're kind of really not understanding it. So without being aware, they start going into like the defensive patterns or offensive patterns that they went into in their past situations. And that tends to be how something like mutual abuse or like people who were abused become abusers happen. They're not aware of it. They don't understand what they are thinking is this person's getting ready to harm me. So I need to do something to protect myself before they do the thing to me. Not understanding that the other person has nothing to do with anything at all and they're not gonna do anything, period, for the most part. I mean, yeah, the other person will probably fuck up in various ways, but that's how it happens. So that's how an abused person unintentionally becomes an abuser. And that is how they unconsciously 
pass on their own trauma to someone else. Okay, and I don't know, that had to come up, apparently. We're talking about intergenerational and interpersonal handing off of this, but like just something that like bothers me when I see it. And like validly when people get involved with people who legitimately have things like diagnosable, like um, personality disorders that tend to be very aggressive, right? Um, there's like this idea that these people are just like sitting back and like plotting and playing like 12 dimensional chess and that's not it's a very reactive thing it's a very reactive thing for the most part and the people who are actually like plotting on people for real that tends to be a very small percentage of the population the actual diagnosable stuff like like actual npd and stuff like that is also a very small portion of the population most people aren't dealing with that. They're just dealing with kind of like various levels of trauma and people who, yeah, are selfish or whatever, or who treat other people's poorly or who are opportunists, but they're not gonna be like diagnosable or whatever. So um, that tends to be how it happens. And it's not an excuse for anybody. It's still harm. Like these people are still like harming people, but it like this kind of seems more like at least right now, a warning that potentially there is someone who is coming in, right, that could be unconscious of the baggage that they are bringing into a particular situation. We could also be dealing with a person who tends to, um, like they're a workaholic, right? They like really dive into their work to ignore their pain. And that's a message that has been coming up repetitively. And it, it came up because I haven't released this other short read yet because I'm just like, oh, these energies are kind of stinky and I don't want to have all stinky messages. But if the messages are stinky and they're involving the collective, then we have to acknowledge stinky collective energy. If that's sounding familiar to you, collective, that you tend to throw yourself into work and activities or maybe even socialization, it would be things that you would get a societal reward for, at least in America or under, like if you have a more capitalist-based system, um, or your culture tends to look favorably onto people who are like constantly working or like getting things done and like being productive or very, very social people. If somebody is receiving um, like a cultural reward for, for, the, for that or a societal reward, it's going to be even harder for someone to disengage from that thing that is technically a negative coping mechanism because they're receiving benefit for it. And it's the same thing for a lot of people. I was gonna say women and femmes, but really it is also um, men in masks too with eating disorders. Um, a lot of that stuff, depending on what the disorder is, but it's typically the ones that are gonna get you like leaner, right? Um, an eating disorder can be hard to get rid of because people are giving you praise for your illness. So let's acknowledge like all of that. This could be another person. This could also, now that I'm looking at it, right? If we're acknowledging the collective, issues going on in the collective, that it's not really like abuse, like you wouldn't be behaving abusively towards people, but it could be that like what this is saying is, hey, warning, warning, y'all have new people coming in like we've been getting that a lot of the collective perhaps is going to be coming into union this year maybe in the next couple of years i don't know and if there are some things that the collective is refusing to look at and instead like oh i'm going to overwork myself oh i'm going to over exercise oh i'm going to like i'm going to do things that like feel like productive healthy things but they're actually not and they're actually a, a tool that I use to block intimacy and sort of isolate myself from other people. That is something that is being called to attention because the collective is going to need to look at that um, if they expect to have these wonderful relationships that have been showing up in the reads, right? Because that's how you block stuff. It's not that it never manifests, it's just that like, when it comes in, it'll bring up the stuff that you haven't been looking at and you'll go, no, like I'm going to just go get my bag or whatever, or I'm going to like do social media or I'm going to like get extra hours at work because like I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with another person. That's how you block stuff. That's how you block blessings. It's not like 
any of the forces going, well, we're just not going to give you stuff because we can see that you have energetic blockages. It's like, no, this shit comes in and then you go, no. It is you literally going, no, I don't want that. That's how that happens. Okay, so um, now I, I think this is what I'm talking about. The last card is high honor in the reverse. And then the three of coins, I'm telling you, this has something to do with either y'all, the person that I'm talking to, or someone around y'all who like they're doing something that like on the outside, right? It looks really good, but truly it's not a high honor thing. It's not a high value thing. It's actually this. It's like, I'm gonna ignore whatever this is and like um, get accolades at work, get accolades from society. This is like someone who, like at the most extreme, right? This would be like someone in a marriage who like on the outside, right? It's like they're involved with all these nonprofits. They're like operating at a very high level within like a corporate environment or with an entrepreneurial ship maybe. They have like a marriage and they have kids and everyone on the outside is like, oh my God, this person has the perfect life. But at home, they're like completely estranged from their children and everything. Like their kids are all like really like high achieving, high performing, but there's absolutely like no love within the household. Like that sort of thing. And like in very egregious cases, it's like the reason why the kids are so high achieving and stuff is because they are being abused. Like that, like that. So everything looks like awesome from the outside, but on the inside, you don't know how that effect is being achieved. And that's like the most extreme version of that, right? Like somebody is like abusing their own family, but it all looks like fantastic from the outside so that like people know if they try and like say anything from the inside of the family that like the community will just turn on them because every like, oh, that, that they couldn't possibly be because it very easily that pillar of the community can go, oh, like I know my child, like they've been actually struggling and we've been keeping it a secret because we actually want to protect them. And it gets like when it's bad, it's real bad. But I doubt that it's like that extreme for most of y'all, right? Like I think this is more like the most general energy is going to be there is someone who doesn't want to deal with some sort of pain and to accomplish that, to stop from dealing with it, they are throwing themselves into another activity entirely that on the outside is going to get them some sort of accolade. Whether that's y'all or whether it's somebody in y'all's energy, we're going to see. But apparently this is a very important read to get out or else I wouldn't be getting it like over and over because this was the read where I was just like, I don't know, this is kind of maybe throwing something on the collective and like people kind of don't like stinky reads. And so I want to make it a double post, but like what that means to me is we need to reinforce, we need to double post on the stinky reads because it's something that the collective needs to acknowledge. And I can't be like, oh, I can't do things that are just gonna like make the collective happy, right? If we're really about like true manifestation on the channel, like I can't do bullshit to y'all either. <sighs> okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? The three of pentacles back again and the king of pentacles. Like I'm telling you, <laughs> this is y'all or is somebody else who like looks real good. Looks real good, but you see the cup is empty, I think. Maybe, maybe the cup is empty, or maybe this is somebody who is coming towards you in love. It could be. It could be. Y'all might have someone coming towards you, or you're going towards another person. I'm not sure, but there's something weird on it. There's something weird on it, and it doesn't feel weird as in, like, when I say, sometimes when I say weird, I mean, like, somebody seems like a liar, or somebody seems like they're of the devil, or whatever, <laughs> of the devil in quotes, okay? metaphorically um this doesn't seem like that this actually seems like someone who like you would mostly describe as like a well-meaning person um that's what it feels like oh my god okay so courtship in the reverse and the moon we've got strength in the three of swords 
they're, this is like somebody doesn't want to see something and they're like toughing it out too. It's like, no, I don't want to see that thing. And in the other read that I released, or I haven't released it yet, but maybe I will. I, like, I'll just do a double post with the same read in the day. When I tried to see what this Three of Swords thing was, it like wouldn't tell me. It would just be like, it's something with other people. It's something like interpersonal, like the way somebody's relating to other people or not relating to other people. And like, it just wouldn't bring it up because like whoever it was like has this like deep, deep down and they don't want to look at it. And I mean, I can't force that because sometimes like you can't force somebody to look at something before they're ready or else it'll damage them and it'll re-traumatize them or whatever, depending on what it is. So let's see, Toil and Labor and the Three of Swords, the Five of Wands. This is, like I'm telling you, this Five of Wands, I don't think this is conflict with other people. It's sort of like this own person creating a blockage through the activity that they're doing so they never have to deal with this. Strength Three of Swords. All right, High Honor in the reverse and the Three of Coins is the Five of Cups and the Emperor. Now this Emperor was in reverse. And the thing is, I think this might be another person, but they also might be watching the channel. All right, I'm gonna say this. If everything's been ringing true for you, right? And you are a woman or a femme, I would still acknowledge this and I would take some time like, hey, am I ready to look at certain things? If you know that you have certain like behavior patterns that way, maybe take some time out for yourself because you know, I want y'all to be happy and like good work-life balance and in relationships that y'all wanna be in, whatever. However that looks for you, I want it for you. And so I don't want to like hedge and say it's not the collective because I think it kind of is, but this is only going to be for certain members of the collective. And it's going to tend to be the people who are more like, this is for men specifically, if you are a cis man or a cis man, it's for you or you are someone who maybe is a woman or a femme, but you relate more to this like emperor style. Like I'm getting all the things done. Like I'm doing all the work, blah, blah, blah. Potentially it's y'all. Um, but if you relate more to like the more relaxed empress type of reads that I do, then uh, this is potentially someone who's more around you, but be honest with yourself, right? There is an emperor here. And I'm telling you, it's not that they're not the emperor. Like this isn't because sometimes if you do emperor in reverse, it's like, oh, oh narcissistic traits. Oh my God, controlling, abusive. I don't get that. I don't get that from this person, but I most definitely get someone who's potentially very, very accomplished. A lot of people look up to this person and they would not guess that this person is dealing with some extra, I want to say it's extreme. Like. We got the Three of Swords twice with the Strength card. So that's, so six times, we got the 12 of Swords here, okay? Because the Strength card, it's like times two. It's a booster, it's a buff sometimes, that Strength card. But that's also talking about how tight of a leash this person feels like they have to keep themselves on to like be okay. Like this is somebody who, if they're very structured, right? Because the Emperor tends to be very structured. It's like they will not like, this person would feel terrified, deviating from some sort of schedule, um, releasing some sort of control. And like, yeah, that's gonna tend to go poorly in a relationship. So especially if this is, if I'm addressing someone who wants to get into a relationship with someone else, you need to look at that because yeah, like no, the only person who's gonna be in a relationship with someone that controlling in real life, in real life, because I know people get confused. They're like, oh, but what about like 50 Shades of Grey? What about all of these like dark romance books? And it's just like, Shh. that is fantasy. That is interesting. It can be titillating on the page, right? And it can be fun within a, a very controlled environment where you're doing some power dynamic stuff. Day to day in a functional relationship, no, it's gonna blow up. It's not gonna work. The only people who stay in relationships like that are unfortunately people who have not like dealt with their own abusive stuff yet. 
And I mean, like if they have been abused or they had like very, very controlling um, abusive parents, things like those are the only people that are gonna tolerate this. Um, and they're not gonna realize that they're tolerating it perhaps ever if they keep getting into the cycle or they'll understand it much, much later, okay? Like once they've separated from all the crap and they've taken some time on their own to do like some therapy and, and everything. And so, uh, like, so we got the 12 of swords, we got the five of wands and the five of cups on whoever this emperor is. I don't care how much people on the outside respect you. I don't care what title you have. I don't care what money you have. I don't care what house you have. I don't care what car you have. None of that can take care of what we see here. And anyone within the realm of a health sanity who wants to protect their own peace and everything else, no one who starts getting close to you who is in that frame is going to stay in your vicinity and be cool with whatever it is that's going on here because it is a sickness. I don't care like what awards, like you have the Nobel Prize, I don't give a shit, it's sickness, okay? And people who start getting close to you are gonna see that and they might address it with you, but like most people are just gonna be like, uh, like depending on how old people are, right? Um, they're going to go, uh, no, like, no, and so that is kind of like by design what this does. Like even if you try to reach out to somebody, once they start getting close to you, the behavior itself is gonna push them away. If they're healthy-minded individuals, if they're not healthy-minded individuals, they'll get closer believing, oh, I can fix him, her, or them. I can like, I'm gonna be the one to like create this illusion. No, only this person can do that. And what this person is continuing to do is not look at what's going on. And so this has got to be coming up for a reason. So we're going to go around again with this. So maybe it's actually not the collective. I mean, it could be. Because I'm kind of getting it is and it isn't. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. Queen of Cups. So I don't know if this is another person. It could be that other people have tried to reach this person before, have reached out to this person in compassion and, and they've sabotaged it. It could also be what we're talking about is this is the part of this person that kind of wants to be heard and they're kind of shoving that queen of cups part of them down. And they would do that in real life as well. So if a version of the queen, of, if they manifested this aspect of themselves in real life in other people, whether it's a friend, a family member, or a romantic partner, they would completely like ignore the person. They would push them away um, because they don't want to acknowledge that side of themselves, the side that like needs a help or whatever. All right. So three of swords, three of swords, toil and labor, and the five of wands. Whoever this person is might have a stutter. If they get nervous or something, they might stutter. And so this person might um, rehearse. Like when you hear this person speak, they might speak very well, but it'll sound rehearsed because they know that if they get flustered or nervous, they're going to stutter and they don't wanna do that. Like I'm getting like they would, like that's like a sign of weakness or whatever. And like, I know, like I'm telling you that, I don't feel that way. I am telling you what this person's energy is. Toil and labor, three of swords, five of wands, justice and the seven of pentacles. This is likely something that has needed to be balanced for this person for a very long time. I would also guess if they are receiving some sort of benefit for what they're doing, like societal benefit, especially if it's money, the reason why they wouldn't have attended to this stuff is because they are in some way um, financially gaining from it. They might feel that their financial status and their title and their um, place of status within the community depends on them not dealing with their own pain. Um, that's kind of like um, when you have like a comedian or an artist that has like a lot of um, addictions and perhaps mental health issues, which usually the two go hand in hand. Not always, but sometimes. Well, in general. Um, 
They might feel like, oh, well, if I get well, or if I don't drink anymore, or don't do substances or whatever, I won't be funny, or I won't be as creative. And that's not true. A lot of times you'll perform better, in fact, um, when you come into wellness. So high honor, the th I am so hot in the face right now. I don't know if this person gets embarrassed or upset. This is the type of person who would work through like actual illnesses and stuff. High honor, three of coins, the emperor, the five of cups. The page of coins. So there's something here, the empress at the bottom of the deck. There is somebody or something here that this person wants to go towards. And I don't know that they're especially going to hold back from this person. At the same time, is kind of like danger, Will Robinson. Um, this does not seem like a warning of like, hey, collective, if someone comes towards you like this, like it's an abusive person. And likewise, it doesn't seem like if I'm talking to the collective that I would say, hey, collective, you are going to be abusive to somebody. It doesn't seem like that at all. What this feels more like is there is the potential if whoever I'm talking to does not actually look at some of this stuff, it doesn't matter who, the, who they're going to go towards. They are likely not going to create a functional relationship long term if that is what they want. Unless that is with a very specific person and they kind of don't mind the cons of a person like that because the type of like queen of cups energy that would legitimately stay with a person like this is more of the doormat energy is more of the well as long as this person is providing a b c and d i kind of don't care if they're um fulfilling my emotional needs like that's the kind of thing like and i mean hey like if y'all are okay with that and y'all are just like no we kind of just want to um I don't know, repress our stuff together. I can't really force you not to, but I'm gonna say, typically that doesn't, like it's gonna manifest. Like you can't do that like long-term. It is going to manifest in your dynamics with each other. And if there are, I don't see any kids here, but I'm like, if there are kids involved, I mean, I know there, this page of pentacles is here. This isn't showing up as a child. Um, if there are any kids involved in here though, like it's gonna manifest in your in the kids. Like, so I'm just like. Why, why tell them that it's human nature? Why, why? Okay, um, so let's go ahead and see if we can get some specifics here. Oh my God. Um, First of all, before I do that, before I do that, who is it that needs the most advice here? Is it our emperor or is it the empress? Is it the active party or is it the passive party? If it tells me both, I'm gonna scream. The person who needs the most advice or the energies, uh, it's probably the person who is taking the most action. It is the person who is going towards somebody else, okay? So that would mean that this person is perhaps listening to the I think we have women who are very active, yes. Ace of Swords, it is the person who would be communicating, they would be initiating contact with another person, okay? Um, Nine of Cups, this would be someone that you want very want, something, someone that you very much want. Um, this would be someone who you feel like you would have an excellent time with, like, it feels like a romantic partner. Um, Ace of Cups. It's the person who would be initiating. That is the person who I am talking to. So the reason why I am bringing this up, if I am speaking directly to that person, is it in no way to shame you at all. I'm like, we're talking to a lot of people here. It's not to shame you. It's to help you get what you want. Okay, long term, whatever this nine of cups is, that is what I am here to assist you in creating for yourself in real life. And if you are not looking at this stuff, that is what is going to manifest. 
and I don't, I don't see, like, there, I don't see projecting from this person. I don't see this person, like, blaming their partners for stuff. But they might do a thing where it's just like, well, it always tends to go this way. I'm just going to go back to work. And, like, sir, sir, ma'am. Nothing just happens that way. Especially when it's just happening that way a lot of different times in your life, all right? Like, there's something that you are doing, as a matter of fact, all right? Like, one time or two, depending on the space gap in between something, I can give people, like, sometimes stuff like that just happens. Like, a random car crash or something like that, okay? If you are repetitively getting into car, like, if there is repetitive, like, major stuff going on in your life there's something going on with you that you're not looking at and sometimes that can be something like add adhd something like that that like somebody doesn't know that they're dealing with that and so they can't like start managing them like understanding it and being like oh well like i can't do this thing if i want this result with the type of neurochemistry that i have okay or um synapse setup all right it's not a big deal why well, it is a big deal but I'm just saying, like, it's not unmanageable for most of the population, okay? There are people who, like, are going to always need um, a hands-on care for what they're dealing with, all right? I'm, but I, I promise you, that's... I almost want to say I doubt that's any of the collective here, all right? Um, but, like, depending on what it is, yeah. All right, so this is... What the hell am I even looking at? Temperance um, on the moon. It's like there's there's big time stuff going on beneath the surface of this person. Oh, and some of it has to do with this empress right here and what they want to say. It could be that even the desiring of this empress is already bringing stuff up that they maybe don't like to look at. And, cause like with that page of swords, the page of swords, if you look at them, they're kind of like, like that's like this, right? So um, even though our emperor sees this empress as a potential match, someone they're very attracted to, and it was a lot of cups energy. I actually didn't, there were no wands there, I don't think. This person is like emotionally attracted to this person. They like their energy, they like their soul, they like, um, they, they have actual affection for this person. I'm like, it's the emperor, so I'm telling, like, probably there is yang on that, like, there is probably also, like, bodily attraction, but that's not the predominant energy in the read. And here's the thing, here's why it's a problem. If it was predominantly bodily attraction, sexual attraction, it wouldn't be as big of an issue especially if that's a cis man, because that is like something that can be completely, for, also for um, women and femmes as well, depending on who you are, um, and depending on how you were socialized, sex is something that can be separated from intimacy. Bodily interactions can be separated from intimacy building, right? Um, so the way that women and femmes tend to be socialized is like that's not the case and um cis men tend to be more socialized to where it is but it's not completely compartmentalized into like people's biology like hardcore that way um though there's an element of that on it okay so if this is a cis man especially if this man is feeling actual emotions for somebody oh and like this is a person who like is about control and like struck on i can't deviate like from the da -da 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 -da, that is going to severely rattle a person before they even get into a conversation with them because the emotions are already coming up and so this person when they feel that emotions are like a threat and so they are going to be viewing the person that they're having the emotions for oddly as a threat. Um, and so that's why they're gonna try and push this down, but yet they do wanna have a relationship with this person. You see how the dysfunction starts. This is how it starts. Okay, so um, can you tell me about this Queen of Cups? 
Because I'm thinking, I mean, I think this is both, right? It's the manifestation of our Queen of Cups as the Empress outside of this person, but that is also talking about the Empress inside of this um, Emperor, right? Until that Emperor can take care of the Empress inside of them, they are going to have a difficult time doing so on the outside. And that's an ongoing process, by the way. Again, we're not wanting to put anyone in a place where like they have to be like completely perfect, like emotionally before they reach out to people. That's not the case. We just want to make people aware of what's going on like as they work, because some of this stuff isn't gonna be triggered until you get into a fucking relationship with somebody else. And you're gonna be working through it together on the ground. Relationships are messy. Like you're not getting out of that ever, okay? I don't care who you are. You're never getting out of mess in your relationships if you have that weird idea in your head. Oh, the love, oh, somebody's in love. Somebody's in love. Ooh, the king of, there's our wands. Like, yeah, I know. And especially if this king of wands is used to dealing with people only on the wand level. This is going to be a little bit upsetting. It's going to be upsetting. Or at least disturbing. Because they might be confused as to why they can't do the same thing with this person that they do with all of the other person. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Nine of Wands is sort of like, I don't know about that. Oh my God, shields up, bitch. <laughs> this person's funny. High Priestess, yeah, no, uh, very to link. Oh, I'm not, I can't, I can't tell this person. I can't tell this person. I cannot reveal my weakness and vulnerability. Are you crazy? I don't know if this person has been betrayed before. They might have like a lot of betrayal trauma. I don't know. And so they just feel like I can't, ex I can't expose myself. Um, but they are feeling this way about another person. Okay. So can you tell me about this Three of Swords? Can we get any details on, oh, um, it's gotta come from this deck, all right. Can you tell me about what this person's dealing with? If it can be exposed to the collective, and that only happens, right? Because this isn't an exposed read, it's to help someone. And so if it is unhelpful for us to talk about with, oh, King of Cups, this person's a lover but they like don't want to admit that about themselves for some reason, I don't know. This could be just an issue of like traditional cis man socialization where it's just maybe, depending on how old this person is, it might be really hard for them to access that part of themselves depending on how they were raised. If they were raised in a super traditional environment then we could just be talking about that. This person doesn't really have betrayal trauma. They just have like, I am a man. And we are stoic. And we go out and we make money and build the houses and the cities. Maybe we philosophize a little bit, but that is it. That is it. Like, we do not romance. What are you talking about? Like, um, technically, yes, but like, we don't know. Like, we show that by like giving you like a jewel or like just take that and get out of my fucking vase. Go, ha go be with your children and like do that shit with them and leave me the fuck alone um except when they're sick right so um king of cups eight of i'm telling you this is someone they are denying their emotions through work and labor oh my god we got this has got to be a this has got to be a man it's got to be it might not be we trans man as well okay but it would be a buck angel style trans man okay Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is someone, let me tell you something. Tower, let me tell you something. If this person has a family, they blew their own fucking family up with their work behavior. This person, if they have been married before and are divorced, what they contributed to the end of that relationship and to that family unit not working is this. It is something about being emotionally unavailable through work. And here's the deal. That acknowledging that about yourself 
that, like, let's, let's think of, let's, let's put ourselves in the man's shoes, okay? Everything that you have been told about your role as a man, you have fulfilled it. And your family still blew up. And I guarantee you, even when somebody is doing this shit, that is not the outcome that they want. I promise you, especially if that's a very, very traditional man, the last thing they want is a divorce. But it's also sort of like, you haven't been taught the skills to actually keep a family together. If you've just been taught like the complete, like the breadwinner stuff, if you've only gotten that, then it's gonna be kind of an on the ground process for you learning how to actually keep a family unit together, especially if you're someone who's considering themselves the leader. There's a way that you lead when you're in like the breadwinning building stuff. And then there's a way that you lead as like a spouse or as a, like a husband, we're going man on this. Um, not to exclude anybody, if you are, like the greater percentage here, we are talking about a man, um, a cishet man. For a smaller percentage, we could be talking about a trans man, or we could be talking about a masked lesbian, okay? Or um, a cishet woman who finds herself more in the position of like the traditional provider protector role. That happens as well. For the most part, greater percentage, this is a man that I would be discussing as the player character of the read and who's bringing predominantly the issues into the relationship. Um, uh, the way that a husband and father leads at home is, and a lot of men will try and do that. Like they will treat their families as they treat like their employees. And it's just like, <clears throat> no, no, it's a completely different skill set. It's a completely different skill set that some men will adapt to and then some men will just like be confused by until unfortunately they lose their families. And then they're feeling very, very, um, um, well, I'm saying disheartened, but that's not the word that I want. It, it's worse than disheartened. Especially because like you feel like you're doing the right thing and you don't understand. Um, but anyway, so that's what the, like, that's what this is. And this person has likely blown up. There's got to be a family situation. I don't know, but this person would be divorced already. This person would be divorced already. And that is what they contributed. I'm not saying that their spouse didn't also contribute things, but that has nothing to do with what is going on here. Um, the spouse is kind of an irrelevancy at this point, though I'm quite sure if this person had a wife or whatever, she had her own problems, right? It's rarely ever one person entirely that is like contributing to poor dynamics within a relationship. Okay, so what is this? Five of Wands. Oh my God, this is like a fucking long read, man. I don't know, we might just have to deal with that because this has to come out. This five of wands is the nine of swords. So this person, now that all of this stuff has been like triggered the fuck, five of wands is clarifying the five of fucking wands. This person is in a lot of turmoil because they're feeling a particular way about somebody else. And because they feel like this person would feel the same way about whoever I'm talking about, that empress, probably that they felt towards, if this person was married, their ex-wife. And I'm not talking about they're looking at this person, they're like, oh, this person's toxic, blah, 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 blah. It's just that most people are only going to feel those level of feelings for a couple of people in their lifetime, okay? And for some people, it's only one person in their lifetime. So somebody might have felt like because a particular marriage or whatever was over and done with, they were like, well, that was my shot at like marriage and love and everything else. I can still be, I guarantee you this person, if they're divorced, they're still, like this isn't anybody who would be shitty to their kids or anything like that. This is somebody who like handles all of their responsibilities, but um, in the way that I described, in that like detached way. So likely this person, if they have children, um, they will have problems with their children. I'm not talking about horrible, horrible problems, but their kids would feel estranged from their father, okay? Like, that's just what it is. And, um, but that's something that, that is something that you can fix, okay? It's something that you can heal over time. Um, but this person would have to look at it first, and they don't want to. So this person, 
since they're feeling the type of love and care that they would feel for someone that they want to get into like a relationship relationship with, it's triggering them to look back and go like, oh, but this is what happened the last time. And they would also have to acknowledge their contributions to what happened the last time. And instead of acknowledging it, they're doing the fuck shit, okay? Because they're dealing with the Nine of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Ace of, so uh, the Ace of Wands though. Ace of Wands, that's kind of positive to me. This person might actually be realizing something and this Justice Seven of Pentacles down here might be them going, ah, it's been a long time. Maybe I wanna take a look at this. Maybe I finally wanna balance some of this shit out. If I really wanna be with another person in this way, then I need to do, like I need to do this instead of this. And also when someone does that, it can cause a chain reaction of healing within the former family unit. I'm not saying that them and their ex would get back together, but if they do have an ex and they do co-parent together, those people have to have a forever relationship. That's just the way it goes. So you want, if somebody has a divorce optimally, you um, and they have kids, you want somebody who has a good co-parenting relationship. You want somebody who has an amicable-ish relationship with their former partner. To me, anyway. Um, you don't really want a whole bunch of like toxicity and drama and stuff like that. No, no, no. Um, so if somebody can start working out their feelings with a new person, that can cause a chain reaction of healing with the former unit. And you can get a better co-parenting relationship, you can get a better relationship with your kids and all kinds of stuff. But um, that takes a lot of adults in the room, right? Um, yes, whoever this is, they're actually looking at their shit. Death, Six of Cups, Knight of Cups. Good for them. It looks like they are reevaluating some stuff. It looks like they are acknowledging some of this crap. And it's specifically because of whatever situation that they want to go into. So let's go ahead and see how this little emperor, sorry, so how this great big emperor, oh my God, um, is just chewing with the five of cups, okay? So this person may well be in like some grief work right now. And we've been getting that for a lot of the men and mask energies that they're like um, handling things like that. Um, and you gotta leave people to do that, right? I always say that, you can't really bug these people while they are sorting all of this shit out because you'll just get a crap result if you try and interrupt this before it's time. Don't pull them out of the oven. They are not done. Um, five of Cups is clarified by the Five of Cups. Oh my God. <laughs> well, at least this person is maybe doing energy work, okay? Oh, oh no, Two of Swords. Um, oh, well, it was in the reverse. I don't know. Let me look at this last card here, all right? We could, we could have someone. Four of Cups, here's the thing. It's not that this person isn't acknowledging some stuff. They don't want to, okay, I, they don't want to, this is the last thing that this person wants to do. They're doing this begrudgingly and kind of like a little at a time. They're kind of like, I don't, f f like this is five of cups, no bitch, I don't want to do that. Four of cups, I acknowledge I have to do this, but I'm not happy about it. Like, <laughs> that's kind of what that is. I'm gonna go around on that again. That's kind of funny, all right? But I mean, if the read was coming out as like this person is like making this whole, like they're a completely different person now in two seconds, like that's not real, okay? That is gonna be like how that looks for somebody like this. It is gonna be kind of like pulling teeth. Page of Wands though, they're not completely like doing nothing. They're not completely repressing. And so this is why these energies, <laughs> the Fool, the King of Swords is like, Yes, I do want to be a new energy, but I don't fucking, I want to, I am the king of swords. I am not the king of cups. They are the king of cups, okay? We already saw it pop up, but they don't want to acknowledge that they're the king. This person is a lover, not a fighter, and they're so mad about it. That's also probably why this person is probably so good at their job or whatever it is that they do is because they're overcompensating by being like the king of swords, emperor, like king of pentacles, they're actually the king of cups deep down, but they can't let anybody see that. 
Seven of Swords. Oh my God, this person is like not telling anybody. This person is like lying. Like this, this is the type of person who like, they got a therapist, but like they were like, oh, well like I see, like usually you have this appointment, like their personal assistant, right? I see you have like this appointment on this day, but usually you're doing this on this day. Like what's going on here? And they're like, oh yes, I have to see a client because blah, blah, blah. They're in a fucking therapist's office. But you know, they, they can't tell anybody. Really. And I mean, you don't really want to overshare on stuff like that, but that's amusing. Yes, this person is like doing whatever work that they're going to be doing. Page of Cups in private, all right? They're not sharing it with anybody and they don't have to share it with anybody. They don't even have to share it with this new person. They can keep the whole thing to themselves. Oh yeah, I was always like this. Though I would say if this person has a former marriage and if they're serious about this other person, eventually if they would be meeting an ex-spouse and kids and all of that, that's a lot, that's in the future, all right? If that was going to happen, they would know that you're not coming out of the womb fully formed, okay? Because the ex-spouse is going to be like, bitch, let me tell you something. And it's just like, oh, no, I can see that, bitch. Oh, my God, yeah. Which I think would maybe seem like some people's worst nightmares, like, two, like, a new partner and a former partner, like, getting along. It's, it's really not, though. It's really, really not. It takes a village. Because how do you think, like, people are going to properly, like, co-parent? Like, if these kids are still, like, in the house, like, come on. Like, you, you don't think? You don't think that, like, the new person, if you try to incorporate them into, like, a blended family, isn't going to be having to take, like, lead from the mom? Like, the actual biological mom, you're crazy, okay? You can't, like, try, like, a stepmom trying to be like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to boss up on these kids. Like, come on. Like, no, that's not going to go that way. Um, this person, oh, the king of cups, I never lie. Um, this, this person, um, you know, they might be coming to the end of, I don't know, because timelines, you know, timelines with this stuff are kind of hard to gauge. Um, This person might have been doing this work. I don't know how long that they've been interested in this other person. So they might have been doing this work and it might be that they're coming to the end of a long-term investment. The Eight of Cups would be like energetic work, leaving the ener like that energetic work for the Three of Cups, which is way more like happiness, celebration, coming into union. Um, Three of Cups, King of Cups, Ace of Cups on this page of Pentacles. So this is someone who's at least done some sort of work, probably not all of their work, right? In order to come into union with another person. So what is the most important thing for the collective to know about this? Oh, I'm getting too rare. I am talking to like two different, so like, there's a contingency of like the mass, the yang energies that probably are maybe gonna see this read because I have to get like two rows out for what's most important for the collective to know. Okay, like right there. Okay. This read wants to come out odd. Okay, what is most important for the collective to know? All right. Okay, this is interesting. This is super interesting. Who is this? I have a feeling I know, but who is this? Well, I do know who this is, but like, why is this? There's a story down here. If y'all thought the Empress did not have issues, you'd be wrong, okay? Like I just, I was about to say, there ain't no way that this Empress is like a completely perfect, it's not bad, but I'm just saying, like, it's never one person. Oh, but, but healing is possible, the star. What is the story here? Oh. <laughs> the 
This is so funny. Okay, so for the more yang, for our emperor, let me get, get the emperor and the empress out here. Because this is about union for our emperors, okay, who have been the predominant player characters of the read. Y'all are on course, okay? Like, yes, it is a very good idea, especially if you're a more traditional person. You gotta have your money in order. You gotta have all of that. And it looks like y'all do, okay? Or you will. Because what I see here is the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups. You are ready to lavish something on somebody, likely whoever this empress is. And um, the Page of Cups would suggest that you are coming in in positive, good, emotional energy. It's also a page that is appropriate. It's not talking about immature energy. It's talking about that this is a new experience, a new relationship. And um, this person is in like um, the initial stages of building up towards being more of that King of Cups in their life, leaning a little bit more there, because they're the emperor, they're all of it. But this person tends to lean more, I would say right now, especially King of Swords, King of Pentacles. In the past, they also might have leaned heavily into that King of Wands, depending on what sort of lifestyle this person led, okay? Um, the, for the King of Wands, because we did see the King of Wands, how is this person behaving King of Wands in the, oh, okay, I just got a story in my mind. I'm gonna see what the cards say, and then I'll tell you what I got intuitively. I knew it, it's like exactly what I thought. I have the Hierophant, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. This person, especially if they were married, okay? Especially if they were married and then got divorced. After they got divorced, this person likely would have went through a hoe phase, okay? They wouldn't have cheated or anything like that, but like after the divorce, maybe like a few years afterwards, this person was leaning like, not horrible king of wands, but like a whore, okay? Um, they were playing the field, just probably normally. But this person wasn't looking for anything serious and probably was in a, in a way where they're like, well, I'm not probably not gonna have that again. Um, and now this person sees that they could potentially have that again. And so um, this is probably really optimal for whoever y'all are, okay? So whoever the emperor is, y'all seem good. For the empress, I don't know how good y'all are, bitch. Like, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know if I wanna get a read on like y'all, but what I have down here for our empress, we got the knight of wands, seven of wands. And this is also reconnaissance for y'all emperors out there. We're going towards these emperi or whatever, empresses I, <laughs> empresses, okay? Um, Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the devil. Y'all bitches have trust issues, is what y'all got. Y'all got trust issues, likely, validly, y'all have trust issues though. And I got energies here that look like they're worth getting involved with to me, okay? Um, but when whoever these people are present themselves to y'all, y'all are gonna be like, fuck you, devil, I get the hell away from me. And so I would say if you're the emperor, you might wanna expect some resistance from the empresses. They look really good. They look really wonderful and soft on the surface, but like, what? <laughs> you're gonna trigger them with the approach, okay? Cause they're gonna be like, fuck you. Um, five, so I got um, Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Devil is sort of like get the get the hell away from me with your crap, okay? And so we've got the Ace of Pentacles up here for the Emperor down here with the Empress, Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacles to the person who is receiving the offer, receiving the Ace of Pentacles, right? This is the person presenting that offer. Here is the person receiving the offer. This person is just like very guarded. Whoever the empresses are, guarded the fuck, okay? That's just what it is. And so, like, the devil, two of cups. Whatever experiences these empresses has ha have had, um, probably not the best. Um, so, I mean, that's the thing that y'all would be working on together. 
for the empress, it's gonna be more trusting someone to let them in. And for the emperor, it's gonna be more like being able to understand their own emotional realm and also the emotional realm of another. Um, and why this would be going on and having like the patience to deal with it, I would guess, which this person would be willing to do in this case since they have like genuine affection for it. It's not just a sex thing, even though I have this Knight of Wands here, right? The Knight of Wands, it could be that they like, the people who tend to approach the emperor, because lots of people approach the empress, right? And it's not every day you come across an emperor. So an empress is gonna need to defend for the most part against the knight of wands, the page of wands. And since this person doesn't know the emperor and that theory, because you only demonstrate that over time, they, they're gonna treat everybody like knight of wands, the devil. Okay, especially if y'all have any residual horror energy on y'all, if y'all are a, a charmer, a smooth talker, kind of a natural flirt, maybe like just naturally more social and gregarious, I don't know. Um, that could also potentially like set off alarm bells to somebody. And so that is, that's what's going on. That's what everybody most needs to know. So I would say, you know, ambrishes. Might wanna chill. I don't know, we haven't gotten like, um a hardcore story on Empress with trust issues lately. So this read is getting super the frick long. I am not, I'm just gonna get the final advice outcome on this. Um, I'm not gonna close, because well, uh, we're just gonna close with the words of the highest authority and we're not gonna do Jesus and Bob on it this time. But let's go ahead and pull y'all some final advice outcome. But I would say as long as y'all are patient with each other and everything else and like y'all are willing to take time with each other, anything's possible. Final advice outcome. <laughs> Ooh. Um, final advice outcome is this is just gonna be work, whatever it is. On the front end, it's gonna be more work for the emperor, which it seems like they can do if that's what they wanna do, yeah. Ultimately, this is going to be worth it, but I would say um, if you are this emperor, expect resistance. Expect, like, you're gonna have to prove yourself on the front end, likely on the, like, the stuff with y'all is gonna come out on the back end. Because I guarantee you, someone who is the emperor, they're gonna be like more active in the courtship phase and their stuff is gonna come out more long-term and that's when the empress is gonna have to pull weight. Um, Cause it seems like, it just seems like you're gonna run into, like once you've got the empress, once you've secured that, she's gonna be there like for the long haul and it'll be the emperor's stuff that's gonna fuck it up long-term. Um, and so that's where the empress is gonna be in the energy that I see here. Though on the front end, right? What we have here is judgment. There is something, the forces are on that. Let me get one more card on that because judgment, that's kind of like the forces. Um, the divine call, a movement of the Tao, the world, that's the forces. Things greater than yourselves are at work here. That doesn't mean that nobody has free will or anything like that. I'm just saying at least the meeting, at least some of the interaction, you know, has the doubt on it. So six of cups, it is new people, new energies, but this is sort of like you can be in paradise again, depending on what it is you're willing to do. So likely this offer will come Four of Cups, but like I said, this would be the Emperor making the offer. This is the Empress sitting here, looking back at her cups and going, yeah, I don't know about that. So 10 of Wands, this is going to be work. For both parties on the front, like at the initial outset, it's gonna be the 10 of Wands, most likely for the Emperor. But the thing is, like I got the High Priestess in the world here, likely this is going to go according to plan. It is going to fit a particular narrative because that is very like, that does fit a particular tale, right? So um, that like what, 
Um, can we, I guess a timeline maybe, like, can you talk to me, if it's not a timeline, can you tell me about the initial contact? Because it's going to be the emperor doing that. Oh, I don't know that it's going to tell me. Because I know what that card is based on the little scratch on the back of it. Yeah, it's not going to tell me. It's not going to tell me Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords. There's like something about it. Like, it's sort of like, no, but it's like, it's almost like this Queen of Swords is someone's guide or somebody going, ah, ah, ah. No, bitch. You don't get to know. Can you tell me why? And I mean, that's part of, like, the Tao, right? I can't, like, I can't fuck with it too much because there are certain things that have to happen in a particular way. And part of that is not knowing about the contact. Uh-uh-uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh-uh-uh. Um... It is, I can't know. This is almost like because it has to go with the flow. It's like, we're not gonna give, like in my case, right? Sometimes, especially in this deck, I get this as a witch or a cunning woman, a wise woman, and I do live in a swamp technically. Um, we are not going to give the cunning woman the information because she too, needs to go with the flow because like i'm on a i'm on a boat motherfucker don't you ever forget okay because i'm on a boat so we've got to navigate the currents yes but like that has its own particular way of going and if i try to force that if i was giving you as specific of information that i'm trying to give you it would mess things up five of swords it's like there's too much strategy on that and you gotta kinda like let things happen as they will. Yes, eight of wands, you gotta go with the flow. King of Pentacles. One more, um, there's something something else that wants to come out. Well, the four of wands wants to come out. The four of wands. Oh. Whatever it is, right? Happiness is available to you. You gotta kind of go with the doubt in this one, Wheel of Fortune, in order to have what you want, right? You've gotta kind of let things happen. But I would tell you, collective, in some way, you have manifested this. Whatever relationship that I am discussing right now, whoever it is that is coming forth for you, you have at some point, whether you realize you were doing magic or not, you visualize this person, you pictured this person. And I'm saying you might have pictured a specific person. For some of you, perhaps it will be that specific person. I would say for most of you though, you are getting like a form of that energy, right? You are getting a form of the person who you specifically visualize, but not necessarily that specific person. Do you know what I mean? But um, the visualizations that you did with that specific person has manifested this person. So um, we will conclude the read with that and with the eternal words of the highest authority. Happy painting. God bless my friend.